Metropolitan government, similar to the form of what Nashville Metro Davidson has, has been discussed in this region for several decades, I believe. As county mayor, would you or would you not support the push for metropolitan government? And please, please explain your position. Thanks. Mr. Coppinger, you are first. Uh, thank you for your question. Um, it comes up from time to time. It has been voted on in this county several times, and not once has it come close to passing. Uh, therefore, I don't think it's uh, incumbent upon the county mayor to drive that particular issue. It's the will of the people that will make that decision. The will of the people will decide whether or not there's going to be metropolitan government in Hamilton County. But it does involve a lot of things that would have to happen in order for that to, uh, to take place. But I think it's more important that we sit down at the table and talk about consolidation of some of the services where they are duplicated in this county. Uh, it's more important because if there is a genuine savings to the taxpayers, we should be doing that. We should already be doing that right now. But what consolidation of uh, services means to me is, is that it's not going to be a new revenue source for some other uh, entity. If you're actually going to con consolidate and combine services, whoever it is that gives up that service should be willing to also take that money out of their their budget so that there's not additional taxes. I happen to live in, in the city of Chattanooga and Hamilton County. I hear this, uh, the issues and the arguments, the uh, discussions all the time about the, uh, the tax uh, situation. So I'm just saying that as a taxpayer in both, uh, both governments, I think that if we're going to reduce or if we're going to consolidate services and we're going to show a reduction uh, in the budgets to whatever, whatever entity gives up that service, then, uh, then I, can, I can support that because it would be a win-win. But what I don't want to see is what we talked about earlier in the school system where we consolidate a service, it goes over to one entity, in this case Hamilton County, and then we have to pass that on as a, as a property tax to the people to be able to make up that difference in millions of dollars. And we've seen that happen not only with public education, we've seen it happen with the jails, uh, where the jails came over to the county. We've seen it happen with the emergency medical services. I know I'm over my time, but I could certainly speak to this issue for quite some time. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm opposed to Metro government, and I don't even, my concern with the people voting on it is that cost about $150,000 wasted for it to fail again. So I will oppose Metro government at every turn. Now let me explain something. Consolidation is a code word many governments use, and the trouble is it never works. I'm for elimination, not consolidation. If we can eliminate something and create more efficiency and, and, and a better financial return to the taxpayer, then I'm completely in favor of that. Consolidation, often a code word. Now to the gentleman that, that made the question, if metro government is so good, why is it in, in many places? And it's not. If you talk to the, the councilman in Nashville, you'll find they find it to be one of the most ineffective, inefficient forms of government. In Louisville, Kentucky, they found that they admit that after four tries, yes, they did go through their change of government, and while their taxes did increase, they're sorry, but the services were greatly improved. And I'm not for that under any circumstances. Thank you. Thank you.